Alright, today is November 11th, Monday, and this is about 8 in the morning, and I'm at Ala Moana Beach Park. Uh, just came out early so I can do my walking exercise. Uh, this is one of my favorite spots. Yeah. And we're gonna go over to the Magic Island and then go around. Yeah, and wow, today is a beautiful morning and quite a bit of people can think this is Monday, work day. Right. Then, so. Yeah. And still planning on where I'm gonna do my scooter riding again. Yeah. Yeah, it weighs 39 pounds. It is kinda heavy. Oh, I have a little difficulty putting it in the car and then out. Yeah, but still, it's pretty good. Oh, and you know, when I first got the scooter, you know, I bought them at Best Buy and I asked them, and they said, no, there's no law you know, that's required for registration or anything for electric scooter. Right? And then I also asked. I uh, have asked some police officers, they weren't familiar. <laughs> so, I looked up on the internet, right, and, oh, there is a law, alright? So, which is, uh, this right here, Hawaii Revised Statute 249-35. That's the school law in the state of Hawaii. The legislatures have made the law, right, pretty much a the law simply states that, you know, like a, you got to register, you know, like a bicycle, a $30 fee one time. And, you know, and then you follow the bicycle rule, right? You can ride on the street if there's no bicycle path, right? And uh, pretty much when you get to intersection, right, you know, you cannot make a turn from the left lane uh, you have to stop get off walk across the sidewalk to cross the street and so forth so yeah so i went to alamoana shopping mall right satellite city hall and i asked them in regards to register you know trying to register my electric scooter and they you know i even showed them the law <laughs> and a uh, lady that was working there, you know, took out, took my friend out, and then went to the back office. And I guess that she was inquiring with a uh, supervisor or some, yeah. And then, after a while, came back and said, "Oh no, uh, this one, yeah, they made the law, but uh, it's not enforced." So I read it carefully, and yeah. They made the law and they left the enforcement up to each district. So whether they want to enforce it or not. And so Honolulu, they say they're not enforcing it. So you can, you know, we're out to use it as a guideline, right? I mean, it is a law, but ineffective law. So we have to use it as a guideline. And that's about it. They're not enforcing it. Because the law stipulates that Anyone under 16, uh, you got to be 16 and over to ride on an electrical scooter. So I go, wow, imagine how many people have purchased for their little kids, right? So, and also, uh, I don't know how the police going to enforce chasing after every scooter ride, electric scooter ride. So, and you pretty much found out that, yeah, it's a bicycle law, if, and then not allowed to ride in areas like uh, with that Waikiki, no sidewalk, only bicycle lane. And downtown, our business district, right, also no sidewalk. Just, yeah. So, pretty much, uh, yeah, anything other than that, we can, electrical scooter, you can ride on the sidewalk or on the bicycle lane. Or if there's no bicycle lane, you can ride on the road on the right side or on the sidewalk. And that is the law that's not being enforced. But pretty much uh, it is a law that's not being enforced so in Honolulu, so just use it as a guideline.
views, right? And wow, well, I gotta say, Ala Moana Beach today is beautiful. So, it's a beautiful sight. And another day I get to come out and do my walking. Yeah. Yeah, and there's more people than I expected. Yeah, considering Monday is a work week, so work day, so I thought a lot less people will be coming out here. But no, that's quite a bit. Well, I guess more and more people are enjoying you know, this walk around Alamona Beach Park, especially the Magic Island area. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like I did try a few other times uh, riding, you know, like a, the electric scooter. And then sometimes the sidewalk, not so good. So, you know, there's some space on the road. So on the right side, I'm just riding a little. And I hear some drivers saying, get off the road. <laughs> okay. So it seems like they're not aware of the law. So, all the rules and so forth. But I did look it up and that's what I found. Yeah, it's a law that's not enforced, but only to be used as a guideline. Because Honolulu is one of the places that decided not to enforce the law on that. Especially if you know well, I guess uh, any other district, I guess I got to go check with, uh, see if uh, they're enforcing it. But most likely in Hawaii, I don't think they, anyone is enforcing that law. Yeah. But only to be used as a guideline. Which even the police officers are not familiar with. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Huh? <laughs> I guess that person is going fishing, taking his moped. Ah. Yeah. Just come out here and sit along on the bench and then just enjoy the beauty out here. Ah, there's a pedal border. Yep. Yeah, early in the morning, there's quite a bit of walkers. Yeah. It's a great place to walk. And jog. Hey, there's the cats. They're enjoying themselves here too. Uh, 
this is the reef barrier that's it's all man-made out here you know, out into the ocean deep part and you know I think yeah maybe one day just put my recording on yeah if I get a better mic I think Monday and then just record right this wave water movement and the sound of the water wave splashing the wave sound yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe record it for about an hour and say good sleeping sound music <laughs> music to your ears the ocean wave yeah that'd be pretty good yeah, I'm even thinking about it. Just do about a one hour recording. Yeah. And then put Magic Island Wave Sound. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta look for a better mic mic that will record real nice sound on this then I'll have it attached and then just record this yeah just sit out here about an hour just recording it oh wow the sun reflection yeah, that's the Diamond and Mountain, and right here, the Magic Island pool area. So, that's the east part where the sign is coming up on the right side. Yeah. I got a nice trade wind, but with the sun being like that, so well, I can see it later, it'll get hot, pretty hot, you should. Okay, let's get another look on that direction. Yeah, I'm not shooting at the sun, I'm just shooting right below the sun. Yeah. Okay. Continue on. You know, in regards to that law that legislatures made over here, um, electrical scooter, first time I ever seen where legislatures made the law and then they even put a quote that they leaving it up to each district to decide if they wish to enforce it or not. <laughs> so, it's a law that is not being enforced, just used as a guideline. All right, now I'm walking towards the side. So, yeah, I'm not sure how the video is coming out or how it would be, but yeah, I'm walking towards the sun. Oh, there are tree cutters. Yeah, they're here cutting off, I guess, uh, extra branches and such. And also taking down any coconuts that's growing. Yeah, don't want any of the coconuts falling off and hitting someone. Oh, that'd be very dangerous.
says early morning surfers out there. Oh yeah. Ah, morning tour boats going out. Yeah. Oh, that's Hawaiian parasail. Yeah, right there. And another boat. Yeah. Yeah. Morning tour boats going out. And uh, here's scuba divers. Yeah. So Magic Island is cool right here. This is a good place to practice. Where there's no undercurrent where the water is calm. some fish, a few. That's the Alawai Yacht Harbor there with Waikiki hotels all around beyond. Yeah, and the Yacht Harbor right here, right across. Ah, there's another tour boat coming in with some passengers. Very expensive place. I don't know if it's one of the most, but that is one of the. It's very expensive place to live here. So, yeah, many of the working class, without any special skills, uh, even with the skills, they are constantly moving out. And so we have been very. Short. And I've got that close for doctors, nurses.
devices and any other accountants and so forth and especially low wage earners so in fact many of the low wage earners they just keep moving out because like, if they keep trying to stay and they got nothing else supporting them then they'll just go become homeless because they're they can't keep up with the cost but you know if you can able to then it's a great place to come you know water is good air is good uh, weather I mean we got traffic congestion at times like crazy many days practically every day <laughs> I know I drive a lot but so with that you know all the air right that our gas fumes and everything yeah it gets cleared up right away with the trade wind we're right in the Pacific so I think compared to many other places, I think people in Hawaii probably are more healthier than people living in many congested cities of like mainland. Yeah. Okay, water's better, air is better. Yeah, weather overall. I mean, like all year round, you can wear short pants if you want <laughs> and t shirts. Yeah, and this is Hawaii. Yeah, except you know, now we're having uh, kind of like uh, I mean, it's something we never heard of. I never heard of you know in the old days when I was growing up. But there's gun shooting. It's like every few days. There's people getting hurt, whether it's uh, due to a knife fight or something. Yeah, and there's so much drugs, mat, and all cocaine, all kinds of stuff going around. Yeah. And Hawaii News Now even had an article, they were doing an article clip that cartel, Mexican cartel had infiltrated and they're operating here. So. Yeah, I can't see it. Oh, it is. Because, because there's not enough uh, staff available yeah there's so many boats coming in they don't get inspected here you know small ones big ones many many small fishing boats and all yeah and that's one of the reason why even though fireworks is completely illegal here right except by permit and few crackers yeah Two times a year other than that you know it's very like uh legally it's pretty hard it's really hard but there's so much fireworks here going on especially new year's oh wow it's like the whole place every bomb is going off everywhere the whole city yeah and all those fireworks are coming through mostly the boats so if they're able to get that many fireworks coming in all year long and they're not talking one you know, I'm not talking one time it's all year long so imagine how much guns drugs are coming in in that method through all these boats but right, that's Hawaii ah You know, even with all that problem, I'll say it is still a great place to live. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, far as for me, I'll do my best to stay here as much as I can. Yeah. So, I took up a hobby, which, uh, you know, I took it as uh, on my name, living in Hawaii, Hawaii on budget, <laughs> always looking for deals if I can, you know, going around supermarkets and any other place, see if there's any deals, right, and yeah, if I find or whenever, then I try my best to let everyone know where and what the deals are.
uh, as my condition is improving more and more maybe you know I'm uh, testing out pokeball and stuff like that but uh, and some uh, fish bentos but later I may try to eat more different because it's not so fun when <laughs> you can't you know enjoy all the food out here yeah. but keep adding the way I'm exercising and keep up with my routine and yeah, hopefully I'll be able to improve but it will take some time all right I've circled the magic island and I'm back to the Ala Moana beach area ah that was a good walk all right so looking out Ala Moana beach area and yeah, early in the morning it is beautiful out here yeah all right so thank you for watching